Hello again. Uh, welcome to another episode on the TC Monster. Uh, today what we are doing is replacing two of these. Now these are engine mount rubbers. Now this seems like really, really solid material. doesn't seem flexible in any way, shape or form. But what I'm going to do, flip you round and I'm going to show you how bad TCs actually are. So I've uh, turned you round, of course, and I've put the torch on because it's dark in the engine bay and in the garage. Now, if you look at that big rubbery lump, sorry if the, ca if the camera goes jerky at all, that there is the engine mount that I need to change. Now there's one on this side and one on the other, of course. Now the measurements said that it needs to be between 37 and 40 millimetres thick. Now, I have not tested this before, so bear with. If I can find a, yeah, that one there, that one that's in there looks like it's very, very, very flexible and perished and it's not very thick at all. Uh, I don't know the exact dimensions, but the one on the other side is a bit more buried, right? You can just see it there and it's bent backwards. You can see it's bent back. So um it's worse on that side so what i'm going to do is unbolt these uh what i'll do is i will film unbolting that one to unbolt the other one separately then i'll jack up the engine from the mount between where it bolts to the gearbox because to me that's kind of like the only place i really can jack it the manual says you can jack it from the other side of the sump but i really don't trust that because you could easily push the sump in so I don't want to do that either. Right here then. Um, I've just been going through the toolbox and we got 17 mil. That's upside down. Focus. There we go, 17. So there we go, 17. Right, so what I'm going to do, put a spanner underneath spanner on top i know it's not a ratchet because yeah oh, sorry if my head gets in the way it's a usual thing for me i'm afraid right so is it going to try and turn on that end as well god oh, blimey well that was, that was tight but I think I'm going to need a ratchet. Yeah. You can't get any any movement on that one down there, so I'm going to have to use a ratchet. Ah, hang on. That's uh That's not deep enough. Oh well, I don't have um, 18, uh, 17 ratchet with me, so it looks like it's going to have to be manual labour. Oh, I haven't, I can't even, I don't even know where my uh, 17 mil ratchet is. Um, my span, ratchet spanner. What I'm going to do is undo the bolts, oh, sorry, the nuts, get the nuts off first. Yuck, it is filthy. I'm going to try and get in from underneath. Now this, there is a, a slot um, under here in the engine mounting. Now, I don't know where is the best point I mean at the moment it's on the lowest part of the slot in the frame actually I can get that one with a ratchet I don't have a deep ratchet that's the thing 
Up in the air. Yeah, check out my new plaque. I bought that uh, for Drive It Day, and uh, yeah, it took a couple of weeks to get through, but uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's a couple of there's a couple of cars on my channel on the Patreon page. Um, I drove two cars, which will have a proper feature soon. But they're both British cars, as in you know. British Leyland cars so feel free to jump over to Patreon and have a look if you want to it's very cheap it's only one dollar a month and you can leave if you want after you watch the film so you know anyway let's get this underneath and prop up the engine okay so I'm going to get underneath the car um, with the jack put a block of wood between the jack and the back of the engine and prop it up. Let me know if you can see something happen. Go and move that. And these. And this. So the piece of wood goes right behind the sump. lifting look at that wow see I can't see from down here all I can see is the cam cover rising okay let's stop there see how far we are the one on the passenger side has lifted much more than on the driver's side I'm thinking because that uh, engine mount is more collapsed Let's see if it, see how loose that is. That's very loose. Yeah, and that is very twisted. Right, I think it's as far as up as I can go on that one. Can I get that out? against anything because I'm so little I can't really get up there and have a look but can I am I going to plank again I think I might have to I can't see it hitting anything maybe um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, a bit more. Oh, I think that one actually made a noise. Yeah, I want to take you out of the. Um, yeah, for some reason I don't know why it's not lifted on this side. It's only lifted on the uh, passenger side. But I suppose once I get one in, I can move the jack maybe, and jack it slightly to that side but that is so twisted right i'm gonna get you out of the tripod i'll keep you running actually
Let's see if we can get that out of there, shall we? Wow. Can I get that out? I think I need a bit more. I need to jack it up a bit more, I think. Let's try. Oh, I think the jack's topped out. It sounded like it topped out. There we go. Wow. Okay, let's grab the new one. So that's the old one. I think you can see how how twisted it is. You know, if I hold it by the wall, by the light, and then hang on. Yeah, that is just really, really twisted. So, right, let's try and get this one in now. It still feels, I mean, it, it still feels fairly tough, but it, you can definitely, you can squidge it, you can put your nail in it. Whereas this one, it's very difficult to do. Okay. Let's get the nuts off. I think because this is the worst one, it's probably the best option is to get it in first. Oh, hang on, the jack dropped itself because unfortunately, my jack it does tend to drop slightly oh that works there we go okay so I've got the bolt through the mount on the engine Tighten this up off camera because it's a bit of a dead air time, really. I have moved you so you can see the mount there. You're propped on the battery tray at the moment, so right there is the mount, right there is the nut. So, what I'm going to do is try and lower the engine so that bolt goes into the, what you see there as a slot there. hasn't gone in so that's where it needs to it's just off center so need to do something to wiggle it or maybe I can get under get under there with a lump hammer and whack it maybe it might work the noise I heard was hang on let's just adjust the camera slightly so I'm gonna have to Manhandle doing this. Okay. Right. The noises I heard creaking as the hose down there stretching because it's shortened. 
because of this modified radiator. Now, uh, the balance of the engine wasn't quite right, so it was lifting more on one side than the other. So, hang on. There's the mount. Can I get it out? Not just yet, no. So what I've been doing is I've been using my foot. Sorry about this, it's wobbly. I've been using my foot on the pro on the uh, jack, and I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on this hose as well as jack the engine up to get that get this mount out. Oh, oh, there we go. No, no. Come on. Can't get it just yet. Bit more, tiny bit more clearance. Got it. So that's driver's side. To get the the other one, wait there. Come on, get on the thread. There we go. Luckily, the um, the threads on these um, aren't quite as long as the old the old bushes. Oh. Engine mounts. Right. Okay. So you are propped literally on the on the uh, front of the car. How am I going to do this? Right, one moment. Right, I'm hoping you don't tip forward because the angle in this engine bay is a bit weird. Right, uh, yeah, keep an eye there, all right? Um, there's no wires in the way, that's good. I can't see, you can. Has it gone in? I think it has. Oh, it's done the same thing on the passenger side where it's caught on the frame slightly, so if I give it a whack with a hammer, it worked last time. There we go. All right, let's get in here. I don't need any kind of um, greases because it's, um, oh, sorry, it's got um, nylock nuts. I don't know if there's a torque setting for this. I couldn't find anything in the Haynes book um, for a torque settings for the engine mount rubbers. It's a bit weird, but you know. All right, so we got the top ones done up. I'll do the un the ones up underneath, and uh, we'll fire him over and see how he see how he is. See if he rattles. TC is shaking like Billio. New engine mounts. Let's get him outside.
I think something is rubbing quite badly. Now, let me see that on. What I'm going to do is wind your window down slightly when we're driving. And what we need to listen for is the rattle that we had. So let's drop the window down a bit. And you're on that side. That's the side I can hear it from. So I'm hoping I can get out of here without hitting Connie. Sounds to me like that is the, um, the mount for the U joint on the prop shaft. That's what it sounds like. I can't think of anything else that it could be. I don't like that noise. What we're going to do is go down the block and back. Yeah, why is that noise? Yeah, I'm still rattling. You can hear it. Those mounts need a changing anyway.
This is a prop. This is a, a pickle. I forgot to film the outro. Uh, doing TC's engine mounts. Um, yeah, they're staring at me from on a box in the garage. So uh, yeah, I'm in the garage right now. Um, not happy with the end of that last film because everything is still rattling and squeaking as you were aware even though the, the engine vibration is you know it's, it's not there anymore so well not to a, to a degree it's going to vibrate but uh, not as much as it was hopefully um so the next part of the fact finding extravaganza shall i call it um is going to be jacking up the back end of the car put it on jack stand start the engine up run it and see what squeaks and rattles um but i might need a second human um to help with that because i need to control the car i can't just you know let it, well i suppose i could but i don't like doing that um so if i can control the car with the throttle with the clutch lever a pe pedal even clutch pedal i'm thinking bike still um because clutch levers are on bikes um yeah just lift the clutch so like the the prop moves and then you can hear the the rubber squealing so yeah i don't know who's gonna be able to help me do that but i'll figure it out somehow anyway that'll do for this video um feel free to like and subscribe all that doobly do that youtube likes and i'll uh I'll see you in another video. It's very sunny today. It's a different day from when I was filming, uh, doing the doing the mounts. So um, I'll see you later. Bye bye.